Anyway, so I went to the polls here in uh, Virginia, Spotsylvania County, Virginia. I want to show you what I got, you know. This is what I got from the Democrats here, this Abigail Spanberger flyer here. All right, it's, look at this. Can you hear how, can you hear how thick that is? Yeah, real thick. I, is that called bond? I don't know much about paper, but is that real thick? The field doesn't look so green. No, huh? The field doesn't look so green. No, it doesn't. This doesn't look very green at all. Here, I'll show you the Republican one. Which do you think? The one that's printed on recycled paper is the Republican one? Yeah. Weird. Yeah, which do you think takes longer to break down in the environment? Okay. Not saying I care about these things. All right, but look at this. Full color opens all the way up. You got a full spread of Abigail Spanberger. Not a, not a bad looking check. She's doable, right? Right, but let's be honest, uh, Leslie Vega, you know, she's way cuter, if you ask me. And you don't even need her picture on this. All this one is, the Republican one, is a simple recycled paper. Look how hideous the color is. The color of the paper. You know that's the cheapest paper available. <coughs> all right? And you know you got two of these flyers from one sheet of paper. And conveniently printed on the back is a pink slip. <laughs> the pink slip on the back, no. It, uh... <laughs> But, and it shows you like, uh, like how to do it properly, how to vote properly. And that's for filling the Yesley Vega bubble and then turn it in, you know, but you know, the Republicans save money, you know, Abigail Spen Spanberger spent all this money on this stuff. Now, for my first question is, are these taxpayer dollars funded? Is this my taxpayer dollars at work? All right, let's say it's on the up and up and you paid it for with funds you raised for your campaign. Fair enough. That's possible. That's absolutely possible. So let me ask you something. Do you think I want to vote for somebody who would spend their own money this carelessly to, for a flyer to be handed out uh, at the polls? It's so big you can't even fit it in your pocket without folding it. Okay, or just have something to hold in your hand while you're anyway. – so, I mean, it's what I'm saying is <laughs> – uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I always vote for the hottest one anyway. The – um. The, uh, you know, but you got to give them both a try. The, um, all this, all this stuff, all these things are floating around the streets of Virginia right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about you, but yesterday I saw so many I voted stickers flying past me in the wind, you know, because it was windy. And how many of these are floating around in the streets of Virginia right now? So, I mean, these two flyers tell me everything I need to know about who to vote for. You know what I mean? Because if you're going to be this careless... For something that you want other people to throw away for you with that kind of money, why would I want you in office? Just based upon these two things, I could go deeper into why I, I voted for Yesley Vega and not Abigail Spanberger if you'd like, but that's all I really need to say. That's a ridiculous waste of money. That's just to be thrown away. Full color? They didn't need full color for the Republican one. You don't need all the social media accounts to vote. It seems like it's more about Abigail Spanberger trying to get followers. Maybe I should run for office so I can get more viewers on my streams. Because <laughs> think about it. Say AOC gets voted out at some point. You know, it could happen. What's she going to do after that? She's going to be an influencer. That's probably all she really wanted to do in the first place. 